Hey everybody, welcome back to Parking Lot Review. This time we're going to review probably the biggest movie of 2015, Star Wars. Kick us off, Scruff. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I just, you know, just so we're clear of my knowledge, I've watched the movies, haven't read the books, I haven't really watched any of the shows that are on it. But as far as this movie, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, not the greatest, but for what they did with it, I thought it was really excellent. Excellent. I'll totally give it an 8 out of 10. Where it fits in the story, I think it's a good starting point for the next, for this trilogy. I can totally see where they're going to go with it. My favorite character was Han Solo in this one. It really was. I uh, don't care for who they brought in for this movie, but I'm excited to see where it goes. What uh, what about Han Solo struck you different in this movie than all the other movies he's been in? That's the thing. It's not because he stroke he hit me different. It's because he's the same old Han Solo, and I like that. I like the original. I like him coming back and being himself. Okay. Oh, I was you know really big on the uh, the hype train for you know for Star Wars and everything, and you know I was really excited. Especially, you know, you see the context or the the letters and stuff, words, whatever. I can't even think right now. Really happy to see all that back on the big screen. Uh, as for the story, uh, threw me off a little bit. Uh, I I have seen all the Star Wars. I know a little bit outside of you know the well the did expanded universe. I'm not going to go into any of that this time. I promise. Uh, going off just movie wise. I like it. it, it had a lot of flaws to it though, like, I mean, like, the things I liked was, I liked BB-8, and, uh, I liked, um, Kylo Ren, as for, like, uh, the other, the other new characters they introduced, I didn't like the acting, so, you know, that kind of threw me off, uh, without really giving away spoilers or anything, uh, as for how it kind of fits, I felt like, they they just uh, I, I feel like I can't say anything. Best way I can put it is like I feel like they didn't say enough or discuss enough on what happened. Kind of like between like the whole thirty years. Kind of it's like the best way I can think of putting it without saying any spoilers. Um, as for rating it. I mean, I love the CGI, I loved, you know, a lot of, uh, the action was okay, it's just uh, on a scale of to 10, I'm going to have to say about 5 or 6. The low ball of the group. Yeah. <laughs> definitely the low ball of the uh, group. I don't know, yeah. I would probably say, I want to say BB-8 was probably my favorite character because honestly I didn't expect him to come <laughs> off as cool as he did just face it he just watched the movie he's a cool character um Kylo Ren his character impressed me without saying anything and then uh, I don't know probably going back to maybe my favorite now that I'm really thinking on it Chewbacca <laughs> <laughs> that, everybody yeah. the it was originals. I'm sorry, but it was Chewbacca. A lot of the newer people that came in, they just, they don't stand out to me, so it's... Hopefully that'll change by the next movie. Hopefully, I mean... That's how I feel with the character development kicking yeah. in and all that. I, I'm like, I I hope whenever we do the next review, I'll see you two picking, like, oh, so-and-so was awesome this movie. I'm hoping so. You know, yeah. I'm st I just know when episode 8 comes out, my hype is going to be like... Because, yeah, I don't, don't want to ride that hype train. I don't want to ride that hype train always again. leads to crash and burning. Oh, it looks so, such a great part for me. <laughs> it just, I don't know. Your thoughts? So, uh, going to oh. cut her off real quick. Before this movie came out, she had never seen any Star Wars no, movies. I saw the first one. And, oh, I'm sorry, you'd seen the first one. Thank you. <laughs> and so she has marathoned the first six movies in the past two days. So she has 
all that information fresh in her and then she marathoned and went for the seventh just now. Um, my overall opinion of the movie was that it was really good. Coming from someone who, you know, hasn't been as invested into Star Wars as a lot of people are, you know, most people have waited 10 years for this movie to come out. And I just watched all of them yesterday and the day before. Um, it was enjoyable to watch and I feel like if somebody just wanted to like see what Star Wars was about, that they could get into this since it's new. Um, as for how it fit into the trilogy, I thought it, you know, it fit in. It referenced other characters and it had the old favorites in it. Um, my favorite character this movie, which is the unpopular opinion, was Rey because I'm excited to see where she'll go. <laughs> and I just, I just really want to see how her story develops. And for the rating of this movie, I'd give it probably eight stormtroopers out of ten. That's, you know, at least one Death Star blast all around. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to point out real quick, let it be known that the newest person to the franchise is also the only one wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. I got it today. So let's, I was wearing one at work today, but I had to take it off because I was wearing everything else earlier. Let's <laughs> let's go with the real question here with her rating. She said eight stormtroopers out of ten. How many of those are hitting their mark? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> For me, I gotta say I was so excited about this movie coming into it. Rode the hype train. Don't care what you think at all. I was ecstatic Always. about this work. I was bouncing around at work today. I was like, today's the day Star Wars comes out. Ten years wait for ten years. Looked it up, uh, A New Hope came out in 77, and I freaked out. I was like, this is 30 years in the making. I go, the last one I saw was freaking in 2005. <laughs> I was like, Star Wars, freaking all day. And I was not disappointed. I loved every bit of this movie. As soon as the opening sequence hits where it says Star Wars, and then it has the backdrop with the letters that tell you the exposition of the story, I teared up. Nostalgia hit me way too hard. I was like, I am seeing history in the making here. I am seeing Star Wars on screen, and it's it's a magical feeling. It was so great. I was I love the fact that I got to experience that. The movie as a whole, I I loved it. It was great. I freaking it should be in my top ten by now. I'd have to go look at my top ten. I liked the flow of it. I liked the pace. The acting did not bother me one bit. I liked the story. I like how it had original callbacks to the original trilogy. It didn't really even have to mention the prequel trilogy. Nobody wants to hear about that anyway. It just want to hear about the good stuff, the originals. And so there's so many callbacks and so many similarities to the original trilogy that every single time something like that happened, it, a big smile across my face. I loved seeing Chewbacca. I love seeing Leia. I love seeing Han Solo. Um, I think everybody knows Luke Skywalker is in the movie to some extent, right? And yeah. Let's confirm, yeah. right? I love seeing Mark Hamill, everything like that. The new characters, I, I like the new cast. The only person I had a problem with was it had to be Finn, but it was his origin story. It showed him coming into all of this like that. And I liked the way they took everything with it. I liked Ray enough. I didn't have a real big problem with her. She was great. The way it fit in the story, the way it flowed and all that like that, it felt it's a, it's a Star Wars movie. It felt just like every other one. He does just keep going with it. The flow is great. I loved how it paced it. My favorite character has to be Kylo Ren. Dude's scary. I'm, he's not a Sith Lord. He's just a bad dude. I liked how he presented himself. I like how he threw his freaking temper tantrums, and it was great. Force choking people, shades of Vader, and all of that. I loved every single bit of it. Anybody have any closing words? Oh man, I was gonna say something that kind of just it may be totally best that you blank. didn't really. Well, no, it was I know, like, well, no, mine actually wasn't a spoiler. Uh, I let's just, uh, let's I can't just even remember. let's just go with the perfect way to do this. May the force be with you. You do not have anything to say about this. <laughs> and then I have forever, so much to say. This one is not I one can. with the force. And then for everybody watching at home, you will like and subscribe to the page. You will comment on the video. You will love all of us. Even the guy in the middle. You remember him from the reaction video. 5,000 people. Awesome. We would like to send a special shout out to every single person that watched that video. Thank you so much for making that video hit 5K. We really appreciate it. We can't wait to do more reaction videos. 
We can't wait to hear you people bash us in the comments. We love it. <laughs> and uh, I think the next reaction review video, just to give everybody a sneak peek, Deadpool is releasing a trailer too on Christmas Day. So oh, look I'm forward to that. So excited. And uh, to keep up with that, you will watch the Deadpool trailer review. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We really appreciate you. Have a good time.